of the pasture right now and we are excitingly awaiting the arrival of something new to the pasture. Um, we already have some out here, but of course, what's one more? <laughs> As you know, we have four, two horses and two ponies out here. We have Davis's horse, Midnight. We have mine and my mom's horse, Luke. And then we have Leon's pony, Penny. And we have a bonus pony who's my mom's named Hannah. So one of my best friends, we've been best friends since we were little, little kids. And I say little, I mean like two or three years old. And she, her mom has a horse named Willow who is just not the right fit for her. And so she is going to be actually gifting her to us to take on and ride and enjoy and live on. So we are super excited to be welcoming our, welcoming another horse onto the property. And she will be here this afternoon. So I've got to gather up all the round pen panels. Now that we have the electric fence set up around the fruit trees, it's been a few weeks since we've done that and the, cow, the cows and the horses are respecting it. They haven't been able to come in. So we are now taking down the panels and we are going to have our round pen back so we can go ahead and put her in there so she can get to know everyone before we set her loose on the pasture. And I don't know if you're noticing somewhere, there's something back here behind me that we are working on. I'll, that will be coming out soon. We'll be talking more about that in the past. I'm super excited for this, but just give you like a little, uh, little sneak peek of it probably can't see it all that well because it's probably a little blurry but there you go sneak peek <laughs> the milking stanchion we designed it on skids so that we could hook it up to a truck or a tractor and be able to move it if we needed to whenever we built this milking stanchion originally the round pen was here where the cows were so when we would let them in they would come in this way but with this new calving stall situation set up I wanted a gate here so the animal can walk up into the milking stanchion stand next to her calf in the calf stall and then she can back out calf out and everyone can go I plan on setting up setting up the stall to possibly go around the milking stanchion. So I am really happy with how that came out. We had yet to hook up the hook guy screws to be able to pull it, but I just ran the strap around the base of the front, looped it under the carriage bolts that we used, and it held up very well. a few more panels but we got the calf stall expanded we got the milking stanchion fenced in so nobody can bother me while I'm milking cows anymore because that was really fun trying to milk Chloe back when she was in milk and fending off all the horses and the cows who want to get her feet that was fun now we've got this all fenced in this can open up this can open up so I can go in and milk Annabelle, the calf stall is now much larger and I'm taking the leftover panels and we are putting up our round pen again so we can have our round pen back to start working the horses again. Where is she? Oh, I see a bob. Hi, baby. Hi. So now we just gotta get her loaded up with her riding buddy, Bob, and bring her out to the pasture. She's such a pretty girl. So are you gonna take her for your own and then 
Am I getting we'll midnight? <laughs> we might do a switch Rooney. I might get midnight and Davis might take Lady Willow. <laughs> she's bigger. Is she? But she's bigger in size, but her hooves aren't as big as midnight. Yeah, she doesn't I feel have. Like midnight would uh, be a little bit more stout pulling on the, on the cattle. On the... Yeah, Dad. Are you a happy pup? Are you a happy pup? Yes, you are. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Happy puppy. Little tiny wiener dog mix pup. Little rescue puppy. Hi, sweetheart. We got a loose donkey. So, unfortunately, it's not happening. We tried, but she just did not want to load. She has some buddy sour issues, so, and that's okay. It's something that can be worked out, but we just don't have the time to work on it. With everything with us still building the house and not being able to just walk outside and work with her. So, it's just not meant to be. So, we will proceed with other plans and this will be for the best. So I am super bummed that we're not getting well of but that's okay because it's just not meant to be. And I will find I will find my draft horse. It will happen eventually. But in the meantime, Coco is sitting on eggs. And I don't know if they're fertile or not because Mr. Rooster is still a little young. So we are gonna sneak in and grab these eggs and candle them to see if any of them are fertile. Put the fertile ones back in, if there are any fertile ones, and let her continue to sit on the floor. Gentle Lily. Silkies are very prone to broodiness, so she wants to sit on these eggs. There you go, just very gently. How many eggs she got in there? She got a lot of eggs in there, I think. So the way that you handle eggs is with a flashlight. I know, candling, flashlighting. So we're gonna go into the darkest room that we have in the house. I don't know if you guys see me. But um, I'm going to shine a light through the eggs and basically try and see if there's any veining or development at all and that will tell us whether it's fertile or not. All right, so we've got our egg, we've got our flashlight, and turn off the light. Does not look fertile, so if you look, see the so as you how it's, you can see pretty much through it. So, no, nope, this one's gonna go trash. This one's trash. What do you mean? Oh, I see veins. Veins? Yes. Is there, know, can you see? Is there really a chicken there? Yep, there is a chicken there. Look, oh, look. Go ahead and mark a little X on that one. Just a little X. Coco might have chicks. So let's see if we can. I don't know if you can see that, but there are veins forming. And that meat signals, so mark the next on that one. Alright, and then up oh, we got another dud. That one's very clear, so that one's no good. So on to the next one. Oh, this one's got lots of veins. Yay! We got three fertile eggs so far. Alright, on to egg. Ooh. This one, yep, this one's good. This one's good. It has veins? Yeah. Alright, mark them because we need to get them under her. They're fertile, so we need to get them under her. This one's also good. Oh, dud. Dud. Last one. Mm, yep. All right. So we've got a total of six. Ooh, six good eggs. Daddy, we have six chicken eggs. Right. We have six fertile eggs. Yep, he yeah. is. So now we'll go ahead and take the eggs back out and stick them back in the nesting box and let Coco continue sitting on them. Six 
silky eggs, fertile and growing. I am so excited. Yay, silky chicks!